Hi everyone, Dave here, FreeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Welcome to this lesson on the 12 bar blues, where I'm going to show you uh, how to play a basic structure of a 12 bar blues, a couple of variations on that, as well as um, things you can do with the chords themselves. There's a uh, free audio download jam track on the lesson page as well as chord charts that you can download. So I urge you to take full advantage of those resources. And if you're watching this on YouTube or any other video sharing site, there's a link directly below here, below this video, in the description box. And if you click that, it'll take you to that lesson page and the resources there. Okay, so without further ado, as I say, Let's get going. All right, so 12 bar blues. Okay, so you see on the graphics on the page, you've got, well, I am being they. <laughs> it's me that put them up there. So the A7 is like this. And if you're not sure of these, go to the blues chords lesson on my site. And then I've got D9 as a four chord. Okay, the four chord simply means we're in the key of A, A is one, B, C, D is four, makes E five. So the five chord is E. Now I've got this E seven chord shape instead. You can mix and match. This is just what I have as an idea or a suggestion to get started to play the 12 bar blues. All you needed are these three dominant seventh chords. In this case, the key of A works out to be A7, D9, which is just a substitution or an embellishment on D7, and E7. You could play the same thing. Two frets higher or any other fret location on your guitar and it would be in a different key. So I could play the same shape here, fret seven, it would be B7. The four chord would now be E7 or E9, back to the one chord, B7, the five chord would work out to be F sharp seven. So that's how you translate or transpose these things into different keys. I drop some of the notes out of the chord, so if I play an A7, I'm just playing fret five on string six, which is the root note. I'm playing fret five on string four, your D string, which is the flat seven, and I'm playing my third finger on fret six, string three. So string five is deadened or muted. Strings one and two are also dead or deadened or muted. And it still creates the sound the listener will perceive this as an A7 just as much as this. Although this is nice. For now, I'm gonna show you the way I played it on the recording. You can play it this way. D9 like that and the E7, I suggest that for now, but this is what is done on the jam track recording. And it's got a 12-8 feel, which is just four beats as I explained in the lesson, each beat subdivided into three smaller beats, which if there's a drummer you're playing with, they would probably be doing that on the hi-hats, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Okay, you get the idea. So I'm going to uh, play along with that now. Here we go. Three, four, one, two. So 
that's just the basic one. Hopefully, uh, there I'm going to be doing more blues lessons, and maybe I can dig into some of this material, such as turnarounds a little bit more, if there's a demand for it. And that's about it for now. Thanks for tuning in and tuning up. This is Dave for guitarlessonsonline.com. Cheers.